For more information, check out my blog, theguy.com. Follow me! Hey guys, today's video is going to be on this vampy makeup look for fall. I had a lot of fun creating this look. I felt like it's a little different than what I normally wear. So if you guys want to know how I got this look, please keep watching. I'm starting off with my Essence I Love Stage eyeshadow primer and priming my lids. And then I'm just setting that in place with my translucent face powder. For my crease, I am using Chickadee Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and just roughly blending this into place. I will be coming to the crease a little later on then on a fluffy angled brush I'm taking the color bitten from makeup geek and I'm focusing this color onto the outer third of my eye and slightly winging the eyeshadow out the great thing about this brush is that it makes it really easy to create a winged shape for the inner two-thirds of my lid only, I'm taking the color Bedroom Eyes from NYX and just packing this all over the lid. And then I'm just touching, out, touching up that outer corner a little bit. For the crease, I'm taking this Warm Toned Brown from NYX Cosmetics and it's a really beautiful matte color and I'm popping this into the crease and just blending out any harsh lines. Now I'm really going to focus on this outer V with my favorite eyeshadow color of the moment which is by ColourPop and it's called Essential Perk. And as you can see, I'm using a tapered brush and really focusing this and creating a V shape right in that outer corner. We will be coming back to this a little later on. I wanted to get my wing on first, so I'm using my Inglot number 77 gel eyeliner and creating a pretty big wing. I wasn't expecting it to pretty much almost touch the tip of my brow, but it happens. We're gonna go with the flow. <laughs> so this is a pretty dramatic wing. Now I'm just picking up that central perk color one more time and just building up that color again right in that outer V to add some drama. I did my face makeup off camera since it takes forever. I primed and moisturized my skin with my Farsali Rose Gold Elixir for a glow. I color corrected with my LA Girl Pro Conceal and for foundation I used my two Maybelline ones. If you guys want a full tutorial on my face makeup, I will have it linked in the description box below. I just skipped out on it because it is a really long process to color correct. Now I'm just going to highlight and conceal with my Maybelline Master Studio Concealer and this is a very heavy dramatic makeup look. I know it's a lot of makeup but makeup is fun. It washes off at the end of the day so popping this onto the under eye and in the scent on the centers of my face and I'm just setting that in place with my Rimmel Stay Matte Transparent Powder and I love applying this with my damp beauty blender I feel like it looks flawless I don't normally like to bake with a translucent powder because I feel like it just looks too powdery on me and my face just can't handle it like I end up looking like roti does that make sense <laughs> Now I want some roti. <laughs> Anyways, for my lower lash line, I am using the same color we used in our crease and just putting this on with a small brush and then really diffusing that color with a pencil brush. For my waterline today, I wanted to use something that was light but nothing too strong. So I'm using the NYX Wonder Pencil, which is not too opaque, which I really like, but it still adds some light and gives the illusion of larger eyes. I'm also keeping that lower lash line pretty simple. I want the focus to be the top lid. For my brows today, I'm using my Maybelline Master Precise. I have been loving this lately. It's such a quick and easy way to do your eyebrows. For my mascara today, I'm mixing the L'Oreal Miss Mango Rock with my L'Oreal False Fiber Lashes. And I had an eyelash that bent the wrong way and I got so frustrated this day, I wanted to pull it out. You'll see on camera, it was like stabbing me in my eye. It was so annoying. Anyways, I wanted some extra drama in my life as if there isn't enough drama in my makeup. Um, so I added some individuals on the ends of my lashes and I'm not even joking you, I am the worst at putting false lashes on. This took me like, five hours <laughs> it was terrible that was me saying like yeah 10 hours later <laughs> so anyways i put this onto the ends of my eyes to wing my eyes out a little more and give the illusion of a cat shape and then i like to apply a little bit of mascara onto them as well just to make my natural lashes blend with the false lashes and like i said the falsies were just on the very outer tips of my eye now of course, you gotta add some more drama with some contouring, so I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal and just contouring the heck out of my face. Because 
if you're gonna have some drama on the eyes you might as well have drama everywhere in your life all over your face so just blending this out with my beauty blender and a smaller brush for my nose and the area right above my cupid spout to give the illusion of powdier lips now i'm not going to be applying a blush or a contour powder or a bronzer or anything like that so i'm using my lorac baked bronzer which i absolutely love to wear on its own it's just the most beautiful product you have such a beautiful sheen i just absolutely love it um, so i'm putting this all over my cheekbones and then for the high points of my face i'm taking my anastasia so hollywood highlighter this finally came in the mail. I've been dying for this. I just recently purchased this and I'm in love with it. I have been using it every single day since I got it. For the lips, I'm going to be using ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color LAX. And I know a lot of people have some trouble with these Ultra Matte Lips. I think there really is a technique to apply them. And you definitely need a lip primer with these and always work on bottom lip first or top lip first and then vice versa and never blot your lips together when it's wet and then wait for it to completely dry then i'm just going to line my lips with mahogany lip liner from mac and then i was like my lips look a little too flat i needed a little bit more dimension and drama so i took avenue ultra matte lip from ColourPop and added this to the centers of my lips just to give it a very slight ombre once I did that, the entire look is done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up. It really helped me out. Subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!